My name's Isaac, better known as Izzy the Bricky. This week, Drew and I wrapped up our new extension and then headed back to one of my favorite jobs, only to find out that the client wants almost everything changing. You guys are watching the new installment of Izzy the Bricky Weekly, which is sponsored by Waifu. <laughs> Monday morning and we are back on the extension we started last week. We have got a really, really busy schedule and we're going to be going back to one of my personal favourite jobs later on. So make sure you stick about to see that. But before we head to my favourite job, we need to finish this extension. We are blasting up the last few courses on this wall. Then we're going to be tackling some of the groundwork. So we're going to be doing some echoes on the front and down the side. We're going to be giving all the blues a nice clean with lots of acid just to make sure everything is tinging and popping for the client. F1's favourite apprentice back on the trowel. So last week Drew was on the trowel quite a lot and I was very impressed with him. He's also after a pay rise, aren't you Drew? Won't pay this guy and wash us. <laughs> I'm ready playing with you, mate. We've pretty much wrapped up the entire brickwork on this extension. Overall, I am so pleased with how this brickwork looks. The entire job just looks really crisp. At the start of the job, I said inconsistency is consistency. Inconsistency is consistency. We've mixed them all up. We've got so many different variations of bricks here, but the colour of them, oh, they just pop and make this job look fantastic. So overall, probably one of my favourite brick extensions I've built. Just given the blues a little acid just to make sure they're tinging. Right now we are doing all of our prep work to get these echoes in tomorrow. So I've just set this one at my height which is just there and I'm just going to cast a string line all the way down here to this level and then we're just going to follow that, set all of these echoes, get them all concreted on and flaunch them all up so they are ready to rock and roll to hand back over to the ground workers. Yes, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Charlie! You're in my shot. <laughs> Thank you. My new video just went live. So the video last week, so episode 13, when we first started this extension, went live three minutes ago. There's a lot of work that goes into these, so I was going to take you a bit behind the scenes and show you one of my videos. This is last week's video. Total amount of footage that went into this video was about three hours worth of footage and it got trimmed down to 23 minutes. Take it a bit like my brickwork. If my brickwork's bad, I'll either pull it down or I'll change it. Same goes for my videos. I'm not gonna pump out rubbish. I like quality over quantity. About 12 hours work went into last week's video. Link on screen right now. So that's a day and a half at work. A like, a comment, some support is really appreciated. Keeps me motivated. Right, anyway, back to the job, hopefully. As mentioned at the start, this video is sponsored by Y-Food. I've been using Y-Food for the last seven months now, and a few reasons why. Each bottle contains 500 calories, and it's a whole meal replacement. It also contains loads of vitamins and minerals, and I don't know if you can tell, but I've been going to the gym, and it contains 36 grams of protein, which is pretty good for that. 
Wi food is perfect when you've got a physical job, just like Drew and I. Keeps you full for about five hours, which is ideal when we're on the trowel trying to get some bricks down. Wi food will be the perfect meal replacement for you. So use my link in the description to save yourself 10% at checkout. Thank you very much for Wi food for supporting the channel. Let's get back to work. 36 grams of protein. I mean, you can't argue. Tuesday morning and we are back on site. We've taken down this stud work here and we're just going to transfer it to the opening where the bifold doors are going. Floor streeters are coming tomorrow. Izzy, the brickie, is going to do some joinery. Once again, because I'm using a handsaw and I'm absolutely lethal when I touch wood, I'm using my Ansel cut resistant gloves. So always safe when you're working on my jobs. <laughs> oh, sorry, that sound was all that now. Oh. No. So if I go 480, two meters with a whack. Dobbing in all of our ACOs. These are ACO drains. You have these when you have a patio and you have water running towards your building. In this case, hopefully, will slope the patio away, but these are just good measure to make sure that no damp ends up hitting the brickwork. What we have here is a four and one concrete mix, four shovels of ballast, one shovel of cement. It's a tiny bit wet for what we want it to be. I'll have to complain to Drew. We're just putting this here up against the hass, and then we're going to slot our ACO onto this bed, and that's going to secure it underneath so it doesn't sink in the future. There is a male side and a female side. You can see how this male side, it has some protruding clips compared to the female side, what allows the clips to slot in. For some reason, these ACOs have these little flaps here. Now, because I'm laying tight up against my blues, they're interfering with how close they can sit. So all I'm doing here is just cutting these off because they are in the way. And we want these ACOs to be nice and flush with our blues. So female goes onto that male. So you see how the ACO is level with our brickwork there. And all this line is doing, this line here, it's also this brickwork level as well, which I've set from using a corner block over there and this ACO I've already set. So I'm gonna dob all these in and we're good to go. Drew and I finished off our ACOs be better than all on the concrete. Right now we are doing our flaunching detail. We've left it low compared to the ACO. A couple of reasons why. The client's reusing these slabs. These slabs measure about 35 mil. And then what I've done, I've also allowed for a compo joint. So I've taken this down to about 60 mil. They are. I've taken it down to about 60 mil to allow for the slab to sit nicely there on a compo joint. We've got Drew getting all of the concrete down for the base. I'm gonna go over that in a second and just spread it all nice and level, ready to bed my ACOs on. He's also throwing on a couple more concrete mixes, so we've got plenty of concrete to do after launching mix. So, lots to do, not much time to do it. So just take your finger off that line, mate. Just your fingers on the line. There you go. That's bang on. We're just doing some work next door. When we started the extension over there, we had to mess around with the water and in turn that means we had to come here dig an hole 
and just check a few things out. So we've disturbed all of these pavers, what they have running all around their property. So right now we are just reinstating these before we tool up and go. They've asked uh, Drew and I to repoint all of their slabs. So I'm gonna put this to you guys because I've seen a couple of people using different methods. Do we sand and cement the repointing or do we resin it? So you tell me in the comments below. There we go, we have pretty much wrapped up our half of this job. So we built the entire extension, which I'm really pleased with. Probably one of my favorite bits of brickwork I've ever done. Whammed all the echoes in today. We sorted out next door. We did a load of floor prep inside. We sorted out this security door. So everything is pretty much wrapped us for Drew and I on this job. Now, tomorrow we are heading to my favorite job we have ever done. So we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Morning and welcome back to one of my favorite builds we have ever done. Those who are new to the channel may not have seen Drew and I build this massive mansion. There was an old house here and we ended up taking the entire thing down and we put this back in its place from ground up. I've got loads of videos of this build from start to finish, which I'll whack on screen everywhere right now but after this video, you can go check them out. Now, today, Drew and I are gonna be making some big alterations downstairs, so let's head down now. But right now, we are stood on the back extension. There's a basement below and the flat roof where it's just stood above us. Some of the alterations we need to make. The client has said that he wants an 84 inch TV going here. So we're gonna be bringing in the windows to about 600 mil compared to their original openings, which is two meters. So when we reduce this window to about 600 or 650, whatever the client decides, we need to also remove the relevant soldiers and then put in our normal half bomb brickwork. Because otherwise it'll look really strange if we do our brickwork to here and there's our new window and then you've got soldiers you'll clearly be able to tell that it used to be an opening. So we also need to do that. So there's got to be a lot of grinding out, a lot of toothing in, and just a lot of messing about. But nothing Drew and I can't handle. Look at him. We've done it all this week, Drew. Joinery. Joinery. Oh, mate. Joinery. <laughs> Scaffolding. <laughs> Groundworking. We've got to do some bricklaying. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> we have toothed out this side of the window we've toothed out this side of the window and we have also formed and toothed out the next side of the window so what the client is after is pretty much a almost floor to ceiling window uh, 550 mil wide which we have formed here what we've, what we've done, done we've actually toothed here. out an extra brick because when i got we've down, done we've actually toothed out all an of extra my brick because you see when how i cut down nice reveal there, i messed nice up there, all nice. of my reveals okay when you i cut how we've got a nice them all there, and it looked nice really scruffy there, so we're gonna nice. have to replace full okay. brick when i cut and the half cut them all so that's what we're gonna have to replace a little while but before we do that, we're going to cut in the other window because he wants the exact same over there. So, lots of cutting stuff to do. Thursday morning and we are back on the mansion build. Yesterday we finished up toothing out both of these windows and we formed our new 555 mil window. After we finished toothing out all of our windows, we did all of our concreting for all of the new partition walls to go up, what the structural engineer wanted. While on the topic of pouring concrete and footings, I thought I'd just make a small diagram for any DIYers, apprentices, and people who just don't often pour footings. So this is a diagram of roughly what we did over there. We had a 600 mil trench. We have our finished floor level, which I need to hit with my masonry. And then we needed to figure out how much concrete to put in. So all I did, I worked down from my finished floor level. That's my mark. I measured down because I want one block showing because it's easy just to work with one block. I go from finished floor level 225 down and that is my concrete mark. And then all of this down to the bottom of my trench, 375 millimeters is concrete. So it's really easy. Just find your data mark you need to hit, minus your masonry, whether that be two bricks, a block, three blocks, whatever. And then below that 
if you're concrete to the bottom of your trench. Right now, we are gonna crack on and start toothing in our first window. Later on, we will be taking the soldiers out, but that is a later job. And at some point, we have a lot more alterations to make inside. I'm hoping to get on a brand new extension next week, but I might actually have to push that back, just depending on how this job goes. Anyway, on that note, we really need to crack on. saw from the quick time lapse we've taken off all of our soldiers the reason for doing so obviously we're going to have half bomb brickwork to here and our soldiers just did not work with our new opening size so we need to reset out all the soldiers to make sure that they work above this window for those of you who might be wondering why i've not got acros and strong boys under my brickwork here five course of brickwork is barely any weight and because it's a new build this mortar is rock hard, it's not going anywhere. So on an old building, I would recommend using strong boys and acros and things like that. But on a small opening like this, new build, there's nothing to panic about. Smashing all my wall to pieces. I remember building this wall and doing these soldiers because I've got a reel of it on my Instagram. Now, because we're keeping in the lintel and the DPC, so we don't have to disturb all of the timbers up off on this flat roof and things like that, it means we're still having to put in our weep holes. So, although we're doing our best to make sure it doesn't look like there was a window here, the weep holes kind of give it away. But what we've done, we've done a small back cut on them, and then we'll just point up to there so you can hardly see them. And I think, you will be able to tell that this used to be a window, but hopefully give it a couple of years. Same sand, same cement. We're gonna blend it all in nicely. Hopefully, you won't see the difference. Fingers crossed. Morning. So yesterday <laughs> we wrapped up doing this window and we pretty much got sorted ready to do that window. We took all the soldiers out. Now I didn't get as much done as I wanted to yesterday because I was running about with the client and some other trades people having a look at all the alterations. So I'm gonna bring you guys inside. We've got to quickly go over all of the alterations we need to make before we crack on with that window. Alteration number one, ignoring that we need to change both of these windows. This massive opening we formed here is getting bricked up. We are putting in some windows on the left-hand side and the right-hand side there. Only small windows are gonna go just above the kitchen counter to let some light in before the wall units. This opening here, which we also formed, is now being altered and brought in to a 1600 double door. This foundation we poured here a few days ago is now redundant. We're moving the wall to this foundation, what's been dug by the ground workers. I think they need to dig out a little bit more. This is getting blocked up. We're removing that steel and we're forming a new doorway here. The windows, all the windows on the back. We currently have this window here. We're gonna be moving it to a 
555 mil window, which is gonna be a full size window just like downstairs. This window here is also getting changed. We're gonna be bringing in this reveal, taking it to there, to here. Again, another full length window, what needs changing. And finally, the last window. This needs changing. We're gonna bring this in one brick and then we're gonna have an eight foot window. So loads of light coming into this room. But that does mean taking out this lintel because it's only a 1800 and then finding a lintel what is suitable for a nine inch wall, which will span eight foot. So loads of work to do, not much time to do it. So what Drew and I are gonna be doing is just coming here as and when it's possible for us to just do so because we've got so many things coming in from the pipeline and need to keep a schedule. So Drew's gonna be working some weekends, doing some brickwork. We're gonna come in on rainy days and just, yeah, we will get all this done at some point. You can tell there are loads and loads of alterations to make. I think bricklayers find it quite demoralizing when they've been paid for work and they have to come back and take it all down. Now, don't get me wrong, it is a bit of a kick in the teeth, but we're still getting paid either way. And what I've got to bear in mind is we're building a family's dream house like this is something they've wanted something they've designed so it makes no odds to drew and i if we have to come back and make alterations if they're going to be happy in this house and their family for the next 20 30 40 50 years so let's crack on yesterday i was building these one brick pillars you can see how we're just going up one full brick i built this house during winter time and i forgot how horrible these bricks are to lay they just do not go off Yesterday while building these pillars, everything just started sinking in and I had to take it down twice and then rebuild it. Now I did find a solution to the problem like I always do. So what we started doing is packing out our bed joints with slate. So here's our tooth, which is solid. What I'm doing, I'm sliding a piece of slate into this joint like that and that's somewhat acting as a lintel for when we put our half on so when this starts taking weight the pressure of this brick and the bricks above are kind of spread throughout this here otherwise it all just starts sinking and it looks a right mess and it'll be impossible to do this in a day so that's what we're doing and the ties at the back you can see they are bent up we're going to do that this block work eventually so these ties will get bent and then put and built into the wall. You see how that one's trying to sink? Yep. In the background somewhere making a load of noise it's drew he is putting up all of his starter packs because he's coming in this weekend to put up that big wall there so it's a bricklayer's dream that he's just running in all day because he's going to be following existing brickwork so he should be totally totally fine so i'm excited to see the end result I am one. so charismatic.
sad. Right, there we go. We have pretty much wrapped up for this Friday. Drew and I are going to hop inside, and do some block work and some more alterations, what I mentioned earlier on upstairs. So this is where we're going to be leaving this week's episode. As you can see, two lovely alterations made here. If you guys are interested to see how Drew gets on this weekend doing that massive brick wall, make sure you tune in next week because we will be here for a couple more days before we start our brand new extension. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We will catch you next week for the next installment of Izzy the Bricky Weekly. Sand, I'll see you later. I don't know why I'm walking this way. I need to go this way. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>